20-year-old Cameron Jacko pulled out a gun and started shooting. Two people were hurt. One of them died at the hospital. Talik Robinson is facing murder charges. Eva Fould was stabbed 43 times. Man, NBA players, they make the most money. They got the best clothes, best cars. Give me that money. Hey, I didn't have no Philip Drummond in my life to show me how to deal with being rich. Give me that money. My first agent sucked. He was a fucking asshole. This ecosystem is in place to really milk these guys dry. 60 or 70% of guys go bankrupt once their career's over with. You can do everything right and still be wrong. When you're broke, nobody gonna look out for you. Money was a, a major motivator. I started looking up like salaries and if you get drafted here, what you make, what you get drafted here, what you make. And even if it was the 59th pick, it was more money than I had ever seen in my life. So. Truthfully, I was like, forget this school. No credit then, all cash, all cash. My first check, I spent it on a uh, house, car. I did get mom a nice Range Rover. I was able to go buy a Mercedes right off the showroom floor. I definitely went to a Louis Vuitton store. Um, and bought a belt. I think I spent that money in one day. Shandor Sabo came to New York to celebrate a family wedding. Sabo's death ruled a homicide. The man charged with assaulting him, Wake Forest assistant basketball coach Jamil Jones. Assistant basketball coach Jamil Jones punched 35-year-old Sandor Sabo. Sabo hit his head on the sidewalk and later died. He was driving a stolen vehicle as he was fleeing authorities. 21-year-old Dominic and 18-year-old Danica. The siblings killed Tuesday night. Alina Shaquette and Darby met at the University of Pittsburgh Greensburg campus where both were students and Darby was on the basketball team. Darby was arrested on rape and other charges. Shaquette's body was found lying on the floor of her Oakland apartment by her parents. She died of a blow to the head. Police arrested Aaron Butler, Dante Hoeklaw, and Elise Frazier in connection to the deadly 2019 shooting of Jordan Taylor. Detectives say a warrant is out for Khalil Madden. Taylor, who was a popular program director at the Y in Catonsville, was shot and killed during a home invasion.